In this video, I will try to settle the age-old question Do surveyors annoy builders on purpose? Well, the short answer is no. And I will explain to you the differences between polar and rectangular layout. Polar layout is something that the surveyors use and it involves circles. Their world is all about circles and uh, this is how they work. For example, they have here a benchmark typically abbreviated as BM and from a benchmark they have a bearing typically referenced from north bearing not a ball bearing okay a bearing as in direction and from it they uh, lay out an angle in degrees minutes and seconds for example how about that there and uh, to do that they would need to mm, there we go so in a building we've got grid lines on a building this could be grid line 3 and this could be grid line C so uh, to mark uh, to, to lay out point 3 C they would need a bearing this angle from north at this benchmark referenced at this benchmark and then along this bearing they would need a direction sorry a distance along this direction so they would need a distance so that's the second piece of information they need. They work with a bearing and the distance. Okay, those are the two pieces of information. However, builders work in a rectangular layout. And say from the same uh, benchmark, here is a benchmark. And uh, they want to lay out, let me see, Two, four, five. How about that one? And there we go. They want to lay out point three C. Uh, actually, they want to build this column around point three C. That's how the column is referenced, and the center line is marked. Okay, this is center line that's how you write center line on uh, many a blueprints so the builders would love to have surveyors to give them a corner but that usually doesn't work with surveyors because this is their original bearing here from north that angle and this distance that angle and that distance. Now they need, the builders might be asking, for a completely new degree that's different from the old degree is greater. Come on in closer. A new bearing that's different from the old one and also a slightly longer or shorter distance. So distance new. This is distance old. Okay. And uh, what happens is uh, that they have their uh, computers. Here is computer in their offices, and they uh, save all of these points for, for example, a reference point 3C on a on a little uh, USB. This is USB stick, and then that gets plugged into their total station TS. Here is the tripod for it and the total station reads the data. So when the surveyor is working out in the field, they usually cannot, do not, and will not change their bearings and their distances because they don't have a computer tied to their backs. Oh yeah, with their batteries that would also plug into the nearest tree. So, not happening. 
on the job site. So they're not gonna give builders new bearings and new distances because they can't just figure it out by eyeballing it. What builders work with typically from these grid lines, say if that was a benchmark, another grid line goes through it as well. What uh, builders typically need to do is uh, uh, snap parallel lines from, uh, from their major grid lines. This is your grids. And uh, snap, so snap parallel lines and, uh, and snap perpendicular lines as well. And do a 3, 4, 5 triangle or whatever is appropriate. Use your tape measure, use your square and lay it out. So what you need to do when you're given a center of a column by a surveyor is you pull out your little uh, framing square or whatever is appropriate for the size of the column and the scale of the project and you go and lay out your own corner points and uh, you just live with it and the surveyor doesn't and cannot give you a new corner in a, a new point marking the corner of the column most of the time just to suit your convenience so that's all I have to say about uh, the difference between uh, polar versus rectangular layout.